Hey, it's the Curious Chicks, and we were just in Nashville and got to experience some of the most amazing nightlife. We went down Broadway Street, we went to Midtown, we went to Printer's Alley, so we have a lot to say about nightlife in Nashville. We are on Broadway! So if you're looking for that kind of crazy nightlife where people are walking everywhere and they're drunk everywhere and there's really loud music, then Broadway is for you. We went to some of the older bars, the ones that started it all. Yeah, well Tootsie's is supposedly the original honky tonk and so the honky tonks are basically bars. So Tootsie's and all of those other ones are right next to each other and that's part of like the more historic uh, portion of Broadway. The one at Robert's Western World, I thought that was a little bit different. Um, yeah, a little more jazzy, bluesy. Uh, second fiddle was a lot more traditional feeling to me because they really had the fiddle going on. And then we also checked out some other bars that were newer, more modern, such as Honky Tonk Central and Dear Bentley's Whiskey Row. I really liked how each, like they're multi-level and each level had a different band. I think it's for me, uh, I would describe it as like a mixture of Vegas meets Gas Lamp in San Diego. Just like all the neon signs and how bright and flashy everything is. But then with the crowds and the energy of like San Diego Gas Lamp where just people sprawling out everywhere. Now Midtown, that was a completely different story. Midtown is close to Music Row. It's like a very short strip of of a few bars right next to each other. And it felt more college towny, maybe because it's near the Vanderbilt. There was a winner's bar and there was a loser's bar. Winners? Losers! Losers win! But the loser bar had a really cool band. I thought they were really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like an older band, but they took it good and they got some the crowd pumped. It's Kung Fu Bar, just yeah. Kung Fu. It was kind of cool. They had a bunch of arcade games. We got to play like King Kong and Street Fighter and Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of it was actually free. And I also like their the front entrance has like a kind of like a front yard. So they have like AstroTurf and some really cool patio furniture and everyone's just kind of hanging out there too. What was your favorite place? I think it definitely was Broadway, but when we went to Printer's Alley and discovered Skull's Rainbow Room, that was pretty special, I thought. Um, just the, the whole theme, it felt like a very Prohibition, kind of 1920s vibe. I think it was original music, so it's not like they were a cover band or anything like that. And uh, they had very interesting lyrics, like they spoke about topics that you just wouldn't think would be in a song, but it was really interesting. So overall, I think if you're looking for that real loud music, you know, bright lights, bar hopping from place to place, you want to get different experiences with music, Broadway is for you. And if you don't mind the crowds, that's where you want to be. If you want something a little bit more low key, a little more chill, then maybe hang out in Printer's Alley and maybe Midtown. So that was our take on Nashville nightlife. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment below, and let us know what your favorite nightlife place is in Nashville. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks Travel.